Red, red wine, stay close to me. Stay close to me. Red, red wine. Welcome to another video. Handy, 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 handy. I don't know what to do with these things. And apparently this is captivating. So today we're gonna be making my sangria. The best dang sangria you maybe had in your life. Maybe you've had it, maybe you haven't. Sometimes you might be doing this in a pitcher, which if I was at home with a few friends, I'd definitely be doing that. But uh, today we're just gonna build it in the glass. Obviously you can scale this up, scale it down. Just multiply this recipe by the amount of people that you have and then bingo bongo, quick math, throw it in the pitcher. So what we're gonna start off with, we're gonna do a little bit of peach knots. Um, in this case, because we're just building in the glass, we're just gonna go with it a half ounce because peach knops goes a long way, but it adds that beautiful fruitiness that you want with your sangria. We're gonna have some Cointreau in there, get a lot, bit of that, or like triple sec, um, basically any kind of orange liqueur. You might want to, you might use Grand Marnier, but it's kind of a, it's a little bit expensive for, for a sangria, you know? The whole thing about sangria is just making cheap wine taste good, so you don't really have to spend a lot of money on things. Here I've got some fresh squeezed orange juice. I mean, you could use just regular store-bought whatever from Concentrate. This is much nicer. It's just a little bit lighter and you get the more natural fruit, like the orange juice uh, coming through. I'm gonna throw in three ounces. I've got some pineapple juice here as well. I'm just gonna go with three ounces, lovely. I'm gonna add some ice to this before we get too carried away here. This is something that you wanna have a good amount of ice in because you are hanging out. I'm probably enjoying this outdoors, on a patio, a deck, by the pool. You're gonna to wanna to leave some room obviously for the wine. We're gonna put a little splash of soda water. Some people like to have 7-Up. I, like I prefer it a little bit less sweet, so I'm just using some soda stream. Especially when you're using pineapple juice with it too because it is quite sweet. You just wanna take it easy on that. I'm just using a cheap Merlot today, something I had. And then we're gonna go ahead and float that on top. And uh, I'm not actually measuring that. I probably used maybe three, two and a half ounces. And now we're gonna kind of garnish with some fruit here. So I've got some, or, uh, some peach. Since we're using peach knops in it, might as well use some peaches because I've got them. Use what you've got around. If you've got mangoes, you've got citrus, I've got some strawberries here, so we're gonna, oh, that really kind of mushed a little bit, eh? Cool. Okay, we're gonna use this side of the peach because it's a bit more firm. And I'm just gonna use my bar spoon here. I'm gonna throw those in. I'm gonna do a little bit of strawberry. Beautiful. And there we are. The best dang sangria you ever did have. We should probably just try it. Oh my goodness. That's life changing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. If you know of somebody that enjoys their sangrias or if there's somebody that you'd love to share a sangria, not a glass of, but obviously a pitcher, a pitcher of sangria with, share this with them. Thank you so much. Uh, see you next week or in another video. Ciao.